Hello everyone, this is Steve Elliott here again. This time I want to talk about creating a colour palette. It's occurred to me that if you're painting in traditional media, it doesn't matter what you're using, if you're using coloured pencils, pastels, oil pastels, markers, watercolour paint, you will always have a limited palette to work with. Digital painting is slightly different, that you've got this kind of picker thing that you can choose millions of colours from. So I thought, you know what, I want to produce a palette of limited colours that I can use so I know I'm going to get harmony across my uh, painting or finished piece of work. So I'm going to show you how I made this palette using my paintings. So I thought, hey, wait a minute, I don't have to make a palette of, say, uh, my watercolour palette or anything like that. I could actually look at the masters. I've always been inspired by impressionists like Monet and Turner and uh, Cezanne and Van Gogh. So I thought, why don't I take one of their paintings, sample their palette and work uh, with the colours that they would have been using. After a bit of research, I came across the National Gallery of Arts website and uh, they have a, an area where you can download pictures. They're all in the public domain. They're free of charge. Uh, for commercial and non-commercial use. I thought, excellent, I can use these without fear of um, infringing any copyright. And I'll put a link to the website in the description down below. I selected three paintings to download. One was by Monet. One was uh, an actual impersonator of Van Gogh. Not an actual Van Gogh, but I, I did like the colour palette. And the third was Turner. In the end, I decided to make a palette of the Turner painting of the ships. I really like the, the depth of colour and the tones and the sort of subtle greys that he was using. So you'll see that I open up Art Rage, probably my favourite art package. I don't work exclusively in Art Rage, but I have been seen to be doing quite a bit in it lately. I'm hoping to be expanding my um, experience in using different packages in the future. But at the minute, I'm happy to work with Art Rage. This um, palette, this will work with any digital art package really, but I'm just happen to be using Art Rage. I know I could do it on the iPad with Procreate, a similar way. And once I've, I've picked all the colors I want, I can save that palette to use and uh, load up anytime I like. Uh, on future paintings or create multiple palettes and use them for different purposes. When using the picker, I make sure I get a wide range of colors and tones moving over the whole of the painting, zooming in really close on some areas, almost down to pixel level to choose the exact color I want. So I'd be interested in hearing what you guys think. Is it cheating to use a master's painting to select the colours from to use in your own work? Or is it just using the new digital media in ways that it's meant to be used? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. In the follow-up of this video, I'm going to be using the palette that I've created to help me paint a picture from a visit to Stratford-upon-Avon. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and join me on my journey exploring the digital world of painting.